Hey guys, XRamer here. Welcome to a new series for XCOM Long War Beta 14 and possible Iron Man mode. So some of you guys may remember me for uh, my Beta 9 playthrough that I finished about a month ago and then, you know, I've just been playing some random games in, in between such as Halfway and Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink I highly recommend if you like XCOM. It kind of, you know, brings a little the fire inside, inside of me at least for a fun, tactical, squad-based game. But anyways, um, now XCOM is back, so I'll still be playing Invisible Ink because that game's a whole whole load of fun. But um, I'll be re restarting my XCOM series, so Iron Man, of course. Um, what's this? Um, yeah, I don't really like listening to Valus, so we'll turn that off. And what uh, second wave options do we have? I don't, I don't like damage roulette. Uh, new economy, strict strict screening, and hidden potential is fun. Personally, I like training roulette, even though it kind of mixes it up. I, I like having soldiers have mixed stuff. Red fog. Uh, I usually don't have absolutely critical on. Liberators didn't really matter for us last time since I did end up liberating every single country. Um, let's see. Total loss. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll add that and make it a little harder. Aiming angles. Um, I mean, this doesn't really matter that much, but I mean, I, I kind of I, I like having a, a super soldier running around. Um, no, see, I, I kind of want this. If, if it was vanilla, I, I wouldn't mind picking it. But in long war, I don't want to grind like 50 extra episodes for, with more than human. Um, this, maybe, maybe, I need, I need to get used, I would have to get used to it, I, I don't feel like getting used to it. Um, okay, I, I think this is it. I, I like Red Fog because, um, in a way it can make the game easier, as long as you can kill all the enemy or like hit all the enemies, but it seems like, you know, you take one grenade, then, then the game really sucks. So I don't really, I don't, I don't really see it as a bad or good thing. I, I would say aiming angles is one that's more um, beneficial to the player because just for the fact that you get to attack first. But since I usually go for a defense-oriented build, um, aiming angles does hurt me slightly in that sense. So it probably balances out overall. But whatever, this is how I like playing. I, I just think it's a bit more realistic when you're we have like kind of flanks. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'll keep aiming angles on. And then hidden potential and strict screening, that's just to, I don't know, I guess make stats a little bit random, but not, you know, too crazy. Just to, just to add a little bit more fun, you know, make your soldiers feel a little bit more personal. So that said, um, everything's on, let's get started then. I want to skip the intro because uh, it's kind of funny, YouTube gives you some programs with the intros, so. though. I'll just skip it. Okay, so let's take a new look at the new powers. Um, air and space for North America, 70% off. Okay, that's pretty usual. I think that was the same. Europe, 60% um, less. I think, wasn't the, wasn't the officer training school part it used to be in Asia? Can't remember. All projects in the foundry cost 60% of the regular cost. That's probably gonna be good. Power facilities cost 60% of the regular cost. So Europe got a buff while Asia got nerfed. I guess when the officer trading school moved to Europe, Europe at least since uh, when I played Beta 9. So I'm not 100% sure um, if 13 was similar. But I will go with Asia because actually, kind of, this might be a bit ironic, but I don't think I've actually started in Asia. Maybe I did before. If I did, then whatever. I mean, let's pick Asia then. So let's get started with our first mission. Okay, so our first mission is going to be in China. Um, I don't know what I think about this map for the first mission. I don't really have much of an opinion on this map in general. I have this is actually one that I didn't get played that many times. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, we gotta stay behind heavy cover though. We're on possible now. Last time I was just playing on classic, just because I wanted to, you know, get a taste of long war. So I'll just fan out, I guess. I'm on 
Oh yeah, I should check what I actually have. I got a flashbang, that's good, an AP grenade. Um, another AP grenade and a medkit. AP grenade, flashbang, two AP grenades, two AP grenades. Uh, AP grenade and heavy, high explosive grenade. Okay, so no one has laser sights, I guess. Because that would mean they'd only have one equip. Everyone has um, a second consumable. That's fine. I have quite a few grenades, but... Well, okay, not really a but. Just, I probably have to use more grenades than just shooting since these are rookies and they have 65 aim. Okay, um... Just fan out down here for now. See if we can find anything. Moving to position. I actually should have moved you to this truck first, um, if it was possible, because that would mean because his move didn't really reveal any new uh, terrain for me, so. Basically, it's like I wasted that move and I, when I could have just, you know, been a little bit more efficient with my sight mechanics. Um, Alright. I, I know there's not any cover right here, but it doesn't really matter when I don't see any enemies. There's a meld over there. Might as well head for it, I mean. It's not like I need it per se for quite a while, but if I could grab some early meld for free, I might as well grab it. Maybe I'll be able to rush some technologies with it. I feel like the game got a lot smoother as well. Okay, so there's our first enemies. Some of them would like to get flanked as well, I think. That's that's good. Fortunately, it's not a really light cover, but. Okay, they're not really getting flanked. Let's see if I could get that guy. Oh no, I can't get to that cover in time. That's unfortunate. I'm rolling. Let's get rid of him though, if I'm able to. Awesome. I don't know about staying in this just light cover though. I can flank this guy. Great, I'm getting a little lucky at the start. I'll take a little luck. Oh uh, yeah. I can't even check a grenade far enough. I think the best would be to, to um, Overwatch, maybe move you here into some action cover and then Overwatch the rest. Overwatch one person and then steady aim the other. Maybe I can, maybe I could put two people onto this side. Yeah, okay, I, I thought about here, but he could just move around. I, I, I wouldn't want that to happen. Um, That's affirmative. It's fine. Yeah, let's overwatch one person and then I'll steady aim, steady weapon you. Let's see what he does. Okay, waste my ammo, that's what he'll do. That's unfortunate, he's wasting my he wasted my overwatch, so we'll have to reposition. We don't want to fight while they have an elevation advantage as well. Okay, his chance of hit is probably very low, so he didn't bar to taking a shot. That's fine with me. Okay, that's fine. Um we need to get rid of him so then I can start camping this wall here. If I can camp this wall, I don't have to worry about 
the elevation so much. Could take a shot, but... How do I see this other guy? Because that makes a... Oh, it's probably... You probably see him. Or no. But yeah, I, I just want to camp this wall. Moving. Hmm. Oh, you see him. Awkward sight mechanics. Okay. Ah, uh, I think that's better just to get myself into some cover. There's really no point taking, even if I can get a 55% shot on him, it doesn't really matter for me that much because I'll be able to flank him soon the next turn. I think these guys are all a double move away from being able to from being able to just hug this wall and like shoot straight down at me. Yes, yeah, so I just Overwatch. Maybe, um, maybe just hunger down with you, just to completely discourage him from shooting at me. Wow, okay, he got a lucky hit. What a jerk. Okay, that's fine then. Such is life. Yeah. I bet he's a little bit more upset than me, so it's okay. Let's grab this mail. I have to med kit him up next turn. Since I have red fogged on, um, he's basically useless right now. I'm on it, Commander. Which is bad, of course. Locked and loaded. Okay, and then I have one other person, right? Oh no, you were the person who shot. That's right. That's Okay, this is why I don't like this now, because if you start at the bottom, it's really hard to assault the top if they just all overwatch you. Who do you see? Yeah, this is why I really don't like this map. Okay, but I will be able to get up here though. Slight cover though. Moving. I, I want to stay. I want to move as far as way as possible because I want to stay outside of these other guys. Perfect. Okay, you got a little lucky since they had elevation and. Um, and what's it called? You still see him. Elevation and uh, I was only under low cover. So I, I got a little lucky in the sense that I didn't... I, I, that should have been a hit. But... That's okay. XCOM takes and XCOM gives. Okay, um, let's just move you here. Solid copy. See, okay, this goes to me saying that I'm a little rusty from X from XCOM. I thought it was two tiles away. Come on. Or it might be two tiles, but it's like uh, not two in a diagonal, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think I'll wait then. Oh, we already got one meld, which is one more than I've got in the past, so it's fine. Ooh. Hello. Okay. 
This is actually a nervous move because I could trigger a whole nother wave. And actually, this is bad because I, I didn't even um, spot him. Okay, well, I'll just chuck a grenade blind. I think I know where he is. Okay, three. That's fine. Um, I... Okay, let's play a little safely. I'll just finish him off with the grenade. Because even with one HP, if he just runs up to me and tries to flank me, I could potentially lose someone. Oh, that grenade was a little bit better. Let's try to finish him then. Perfect. That worked out a little bit better than I thought. Okay, let's start trying to breach up this um, area that now. As long as I'm um, two tiles before the the top of the ladder or something like that, I won't get I won't get spotted and shot at. Like if I moved here, I would get spotted. Okay. I moved everybody right. Six people. I don't have. It's not like where I had to manage eight or. <laughs> How many was it in the final mission? I think it was 12? Okay, here's another wave. I think I'll probably just keep chucking grenades. It's not like I'm losing out on anything at this point in the game. It's just important for me to be able to get on top of this um, stair, on top of this platform without getting into a whole lot of trouble. And this is why, I, and then the corpses, like I said, aren't that important. Uh, well, okay, they are important, but um, keeping my guys alive is still, of course, you know, priority number one in this game. I was hoping to flank him. That's fine though. See somebody else. Um. Uh, okay, I could probably actually flashbang uh, both of these sectoids, which I will do. Or I thought I was I thought there's another guy back here. Maybe he was just slightly out of range. That's a little that's unfortunate, but. happens. 42%? Uh, I think I'll just steady- well, okay, it's, I think it's actually better to shoot twice than to steady your weapon when it's like mid-range. Um, not counting the ammo, of course. Oh, nice! Okay, I, I got really lucky. My guys have aimbots today. This one's a little dangerous. Oh, he's flanked, so he should probably... Okay, that's fine. That's A-okay with me. Um, yeah. Perfect. This guy behind the heavy cover will be the biggest problem, of course. I don't think any of them are overwatched. Yeah, I think I'll take a shot. Nope, that's okay. Can't hit every shot, right? Fortunately, uh, it's gonna be a little difficult to get to sight. Okay, there we go. Uh, nah, that wasn't very helpful. I don't think you'll be able to get sight from here, yeah. Let me just chuck an AP grenade at this guy. Oh, 
Okay. That's fine. I think there's uh, three sectoids, right? And this is one I can't see. Okay, they're 42%. I'm, I'll try this pot shot again. Okay, um... Okay, that'll be my next move, I guess. This one, I'll just overwatch to make them not not move. Okay, so these guys should be dead now. If this goes according to plan. Yep, and I can just use my pistol, save some ammo, but should be the last wave. Or there should be another right if it's impossible. Yeah, okay, let's. But you know, we always play it as if there could be another wave. Good work out there, strike one. Oh, what the heck? You know, I, I thought the. Uh, might there be more on Impossible? Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Great. Thanks again, Bradford. I feel like it's deja vu all over again. Uh, one person didn't get a promotion. Oh, well, sorry for you. Ah, I forgot to keep track. Okay, I'll take an infantry. Take a medic. So I'll take a grenadier. Gunner. Scout. And could take another gunner. I mean, I already got the the engineer, right? I'll build up my rocketeers later. The recovered artifacts okay. are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your order. Awesome. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Of course, Dr. Valen. Um, let's see what research shall we start? Xenobiology, of course. We got enough sectoid corpses to start it. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay. Uh, what should I build first? The steam vents, eh, they're, not, they're not too far away. I guess they're okay. Um, I think a laboratory should be the first thing we build. And then anything? No. Oh. Do some of these um, options like override each other? Okay, maybe maybe just the ones that I got at the start are all the same because of the the two options I turned on. That, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but it does look like you know as they're growing, they're a little bit different. So I'll just be the luck of the draw. Uh, I, I guess it's more fair this way. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we Great. should plan our deployments carefully. Okay, let's move forward. Do, do, do. Oh wait, before I forget, uh, let's change some of these to stingray missiles. Oh, they got new uh, graphics for that. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, and to uh, rename. So it gets a uh, little cool extra info about the. Yeah, abduction site. We've picked up multiple requests. Okay, $100. So let me set this up. I'll be right back. I mean, it won't take that long. So here's my team. Um, everyone basically has a carbine because I don't like it when people only have 65 base aim. That's kind of crappy. So with an assault carbine, everyone's going to have, and a laser sight, everyone's going to have 79 aim, which is, you know, that's not too bad. Of course, I'm trading away one damage. And then I have four of my soldiers equipped with high explosive grenades. And the reason I have have them equipped with four uh, with high explosive grenades is that um, unless they're behind, you know, a non-destructible uh, terrain feature, the aliens that is, I'll just throw, chuck in high explosive grenade, blow them up, and then shoot at them with somebody else. Um, the AP grenade. I, I mean, yes, that's one more damage, but. Um, I, I like having the corpse and then, you know, just blowing up their cover is is good enough usually. And then I have one person with the medkit and then one person with a flashbang in case I, you know, in case someone gets hurt and then for some other uses, you know, in case I spawn a group of enemies all bunched together and then um, it might just, uh, you know, some cases it might just be better to disable them. Especially, you know, once we get to a landing or anything like that, a, um, flashbangs will be very important against outsiders. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so... Hopefully this first mission isn't too bad. Prepare for or second mission, I guess I should say now. Our target site is near the German border. We're starting at the gas station map. continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimize. That's fine. Central, this is Big Sky. We started on this side. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Can be a little bit annoying. Okay, let's just hop over here. Could get flanked in. I think the ladder is on. Oh, the ladder is over there. Okay, that's not too bad then. I think in this map you want to take the high ground, so our objective is going to be moving this way. Let's have a few people on point. And then... I guess it's okay t since there's no enemies to take position behind these gas canisters for now. Solid copy. And let's overwatch everybody, of course. Okay, let's check. Hello? Nobody. So I guess we just keep advancing it. Okay, um... These guys are in an annoying position. I'll probably retreat to you. Actually, I'm not just probably. I'm for sure retreating you. Okay, we could take cover inside here. Find some heavy cover. Actually, I should have moved you there and like hunkered out. That would have been the ideal spot. Copy that. Okay, I think I think this is okay. I just want to get everybody into a position. Just assessing the risk that would trigger a pod to the left. I, I don't think I don't think an extra at two tiles would have hurt. I mean sometimes it does hurt, but sometimes you could kinda of predict the po where the uh, pods are gonna be. Like you have a good feeling about it. That was one of those times. Okay, but I don't want. Uh, I mean, usually there's not gonna be a pod on the rooftop, but. Uh, let's 
play a little cautiously. I need to get you onto this side though. I need everybody to start moving towards inside the building. You're probably gonna be the one that takes all the heat, so I'll hunker you down and overwatch these other two. Let's bunny hop our way to the next piece of heavy cover. Uh, hmm. Not anywhere that I would like to be still. I think I'd let them come to me again. That means I'll retreat you back here. bring you here. I want them to enter our killing field, not for me to enter their killing field. Okay, let's take a step back here then. I just have to play very cautiously um, during this early game. Right now, just because they're behind so much heavy cover that it's just not prudent for me to be moving forward. Oh, nice. See? Carbines. Now, you guys better dodge it, though. Okay. Now that I got these grenades, okay, there must be a way. Okay, I know I can blow up this wall here. Fastball special. Perfect. So now I can go after this guy. This is why I like the high explosive grenades. Bye bye. I think. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Can't expect too much from my um, newbies. Okay, but two shots though. One of them should hit. No crit though. Let's scout out over here again. Okay, that was just to, to check out. Really would like to get somebody onto the rooftop. It's probably not happening for a bit. Okay, let's put you back here. Okay, at least these two are wounded. And he's healing up. like to do is chuck in there a grenade. If I could hit this table, that would be excellent. That didn't blow up the table, that's unfortunate. Well, I got, I think I got two about 50% chances to hit, so. If I could hit them, that would be perfect. It's a bit of a struggle right now, but it's okay. Or I could have just, I guess I could have, I could open up a new, uh, 
a new flank onto this person. Head into that location. Four shots, uh, all 50%. I need to hit two of them. That's within reason. Just kidding, these are 32%, but... Can I hit one of these? It's about 50% chance I hit one of these. Maybe I'll get lucky, come on. No. No dice. It, it was expected that I hit um, one of them, which I did between the four of these. And here's pod number two. Now we got five sectoids to deal with. Or oh, I haven't triggered them yet, that's okay. Okay, that hurt. We'll treat you. Oh, but I think I could see that guy. And, um, okay, I could open up on them. But I don't really want to open up on them while I'm still dealing with these guys. Seems like a horrible idea. Look, I could take the uh, heavy cover up here and shoot at him. Now that he's moved up to me. Probably should have done that much earlier. Look, it's okay, I got heavy cover and elevation. Where's my medic? There's my medic. My medic needs to uh, reload though first. Preferably I would rather not trigger these aliens. So we're just gonna sidestep over here. <laughs> Yeah, outside of it. I'll trigger them next time turn, maybe. Yeah, okay, let's get you healed up. Feels so laborious dealing with sectoids, doesn't it? And I've noticed in Long War now, they seem to, or in 14 at least, they seem to be shooting a lot more than just using psychic abilities. And that billboard up there blew up. That's not good. Copy that. Let's do this. That's not good at all. Okay. So I'll just retreat here for now, out of sight. Okay, he's moving to some light cover. That means I'll try to engage him now. Ah, so much for that. Okay, uh, like I said, I don't care about the melt. Let's uh, yes, let's try to get the flank on this guy. Contact. Oh, oh, hi, hi, no, 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 bye, 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 bye. X-rays coming in from the sides. Bye. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I did not mean to talk to meet you guys. Solid copy. Okay, luckily there is a there is a nice little hidey hole. I'm really sorry, uh, Mr. Sectoids over there. I I did not. Oops. Game accidentally all tabbed out for a second. I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, I, I, like you have no idea how sorry I am for that. Like you really don't know how. Okay, let's deal with these guys on the right, and then we'll shift to the left. How does that sound? 
Oh no! Why did I have to trigger those guys? I don't think we're alone out here. Why did that have to happen? No, no, you got you guys stay the fuck away from me. Okay, okay. Situation is under control. What do you think they were? Okay, let's uh Let me get a little sight over here. Ooh. Where did they disappear to? I'm not gonna take cover behind these uh these things. It's not like I can move anywhere else. Um, must be somewhere I can go. Actually, I think I think I do need someone at this vending machine to cover this area. Four. Okay. Will do. We're just dancing with positioning right now. Um, Solid copy. Okay. If I were you, I'd be panicking right now. Please stay away from me. Pretty sure that's not the sign of losing ground. Um, I can't see somebody. The question is, does that mean I want to shoot at that somebody? Yeah, I, I will shoot at this person with you, though. Nope. It's worth an, an an attempt. Oh, I should have moved you out of the way. You're blocking that freaking thing right there. Heading to that location. Get it. Rota rotate some heavy cover here. You still see him? Uh, maybe I'll just hunker you down. Then. There's four sectoids there and three behind us. Uh, there is a time bomb on how much, how long I can dilly dally just standing here. So we gotta be mindful of that. Stay away! Okay, they seem to have stalled for a turn. Okay, good. I don't really want to play this pot shot kind of game though. Can move up. Oh well, look at that. Okay, my friend, that's out of position. Well, it's actually in a remarkably good position now. Let's kill you. If I could crit, that'd be really nice. No crit, no dice. Ok, 
Yeah, I, w I, w I wanna chuck a grenade at them. Perfect. I, he, he's probably dead from the uh, fuel as well. Okay, it's now or never. I, I, I got to make a move. I can see both of these, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, well, I'll take the extra 2%. That's the only bad thing about carbines, but I guess if I didn't have the carbine, I might not even be hitting. Hard to judge. Yeah, okay, just want to see. Oh, why? <laughs> why the minimum damage every single time? God. Ah. Freaking Ed's Cup. Oh, I don't even care. Just try. Okay, I, I, I gotta take this guy down. Why the minimum damage? Why, why, why? <laughs> okay, that's fine. More worry about you. Oh, you're retreating. Good. Oh, that that frustrates me. That. <laughs> That this this should have gone much better. Okay, but okay, okay, okay. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it, it was it was perfectly fine so far. So I could have missed most more of those. I'm gonna just stop commentating right now before I before I throw a tantrum. <laughs> Uh, stop commentating and not say another word. Okay, it's too risky for me to be rambling too hard. I'm all over it. In Sixty percent, come on. Six percent. Come on. One. Um. I think if I get close enough, okay. I should just tr uh, test to see how what the percentage was. Ninety-one percent. Okay, it's better than him. Like trying to shoot my guys and blowing up the fuel canister. Now we just have to deal with these three guys, and we should be on our way home. I hope. Because... Uh, I'm getting a little sleepy. It's like three something now. But I, I just want to get this one episode out before, you know. I was just really excited. And then, you know, typical XCOM emotions. I went from... Excited to to oh my god afraid to oh yeah I'm having a little fun right now blowing up all these sectoids to fuck my life why did I miss all these shots so that's how I feel right now and now you know just a little tired it's late on my way my coffee's worn out I don't reload everybody me upset if anybody dies in this. Final part. Got, got a grenade left, I think, uh, with on you. So I still got some consumables. That's good. I got a flashbang as well. So I'll just throw the bucket at these guys. Solid 
I'm gonna stay here and be okay. Maybe I should take to the rooftop and then, um, they don't have this way I can fight. Maybe I can trigger them down there, and maybe they'll face this way, and then I could use the people on the rooftop to flank them. I'll have the, even if I don't, I'll have the elevation bonus, so it should be okay. So my team is really far away though, so I have to dash them up. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Okay, this just shows that I'm getting, I am getting a little tired. I should have waited for him. I should have actually made his move last because, well, no, I guess it's okay because I already ran up here and I didn't trigger anything. I don't know if I can actually see through this hole. I, I don't think I can. I think it's just a, a display thing. Couldn't move to that, but... Um, I don't know. Sight mechanics are always weird. Sometimes you can look over things you shouldn't. So I, I just don't want, no point taking a risk. My soldier that was out of position actually uh, was in a pretty fortunate position because he was able to get a nice flank. So, so far it's worked out. Can't complain. I mean, yes, I did miss some of those high shots, and yes, I did do the minimum damage, but uh, no one got injured for it, and that's that's all that matters. And it's hard to have you know backup plans this early on because um, the early part of the game is all about positioning. You don't really have many item choices. You don't really have uh, you know mechs or gene mods or officers or any, anything that could give you. A variety of different options to make when you play the game. It's just outmaneuvering the sectoids and then praying on the RNG. And how did they end up over there? Unless it's in there. Okay, I'll just check over here first to make sure. Heading there now. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's a okay. Let's try fan out though, because I don't want everyone just like bunched up. No. Oh. Okay, so much for that. Well, that kind of defeats my uh, flanking attempt. A little unfortunate. Need to um, actually. That guy might climb up this ladder, so I do need to take positioning to avoid that from happening. I think no matter what, if I stand right here, they won't be able to shoot at me. The outside. For oh, fortunately, for some reason, that's not covered. So let me just retreat you then. I think I think this episode did show a little bit of my impatience as well. Um, yeah, let's retreat. When I, when I just decided to run up straight, like I, I probably should have retreated, but there are two aliens. I just wanted to take down one of them. I'm on it, I, I risk getting shot at, but you know, most of my soldiers are already fully committed by being into light cover, so um, getting a free uh, takedown. I guess it's okay. It's not too bad of a decision. Okay, so we're back to where we are at the beginning of the game in terms of our positioning. I don't need this many people on the rooftop, so I could drop one person down. Get a little sight. Possible, I would like to move you here. I want you to stay out of sight of this guy. They get one free kill. Okay, yeah, this should be one kill. Uh, I'll drop another person down from the rooftop. Try again.
Okay, there we go. Two more aliens. Yeah. Okay. I'll inch you up this way to face um, this guy just a little, in case they climb up the rooftop a little bit better. Okay, um, let's just peek. One person there, one person over there. Okay, so the rooftop isn't a threat then. I'll have light cover, or I'll have heavy cover, he'll have light cover. So, I'll have two versus one, so this firefight is oh, kind of okay. Great, I even hit him. I have two shots, so I was hoping to hit one of these. Um, I don't think I'll get a sight though. I'll, I, I don't know what I'll do with you. I haven't decided on that yet. Should I take a shot? Okay, 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 I'll take a shot. If I get lucky... Nope. If I don't, um, his threat level is pretty low. Okay, okay, I'll go for it. It's now or never, it's not like... Uh, actually, no, I shouldn't have went for it. I, I, yeah, I shouldn't have went for it because I didn't kill that guy, so I shouldn't have. Okay, let's just retreat. Um, so I'm only at risk with one shot. Can I toss this flashbang? No, actually. Can I? Nope. It, it wasn't worth the risk. Take, taking the shot with my ground guys down there was worth it, but... Okay, but like, you know, uh, risking that wasn't worth it. At least in my opinion. Okay, um, well now you're behind some heavy cover. That's annoying. Okay, I was hoping actually to be able to peek straight down, but that's not how life works. Don't want to get flanked by him. I will steady my shot on you. And then... Overwatch. To discourage him from moving. Actually, I need a retreat here in case he moves around. Okay, now I have a steady shot, so I should be able to get him. Die! 50%. Roll some dice. Great. Now let's find our last buddy. He's Overwatch right there. One. Awesome. Oh, frick. Ah, that was a mistake. Uh, it's because that wall broke. Uh, okay, that, yeah, that was a mistake. I, I took an injury for no reason. I should have done this first. I even had it in my head, and, and then I made the movement. That was, uh, okay, it's just an injury. At least he didn't die. So, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. Can I get sight from here? Take a pot shot? Nope, that's okay, I'll just dash here. 
Yeah, I took a hit for no reason. Uh. Man, I, 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 even, I even thought about it. About the order that I was supposed to make my movements. Oh, what the? Oh no, this is, a nut, this is another... Okay, that's really bad. Oh. I'm out of consumables too, and there's four of them. Okay, that's really, really bad. Okay, I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. They got me flanked. Well, I got I got him flanked too. No worries. Big worries because I'm out of ammo. Okay, maybe I'll get a crit. But uh, at least I hit him. Two damage isn't too bad. Let's finish off this guy, though. Um. It's fine, come on. Hit this. Okay, four sectoids. Let's just add... I was at three a minute ago, and now I'm back at four, without any ammo. Life just can't get any better. Let's let's yeah. get out of sight of him. No more explosives. Basically, I got five soldiers, since you're pretty much worthless now. With red fogged off or on. Let's <laughs> hit that guy with my pistol, so. First time using some mental abilities. Okay. Oh, this will be a good Overwatch hit. Yes. Okay. Three of them. I'm all over. Boy. Okay, that's why I didn't want to move there. I went trigger in Overwatch. I had done that. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be a sight or not, and it was. Okay, no point taking the rooftop anymore. Except I'm out of sight. Oh. I think this is far. Yeah, this should be far enough. I'm gonna go just trigger in Overwatch from here. Um. I'll reload you. Ready to engage. And have one percent. Okay, let's get you out of sight. Okay, right, so compared to beta nine and beta fourteen, pistols have a range penalty as well now. Behind, behind my heavy cover. I am engaging in a firefight though, which is violates one of my tenets of XCOM with aliens. But I don't even I don't even have any more explosives or anything, so I don't really have a choice in that matter. At least they're missing. I might be able to get around around these guys with you. Fortunately, it's this map where there's just not much cover. One move here, but I need to think about it. Yeah, these benches are kind of mean to me. 
wish you were a little faster as well. Oh, and you're hallucinating from that panic. Okay. No wonder I was like 1%. I thought it was the, just a pistol, but... All of these 47% chance to hits. Okay, okay, it's fine. Come on. I should hit at least one of these. No! Please hit one of these. Not any heavy cover around here. Might as well just hunker down with you. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit with you either. Uh, I only took two shots anyways, so it wasn't like... Oh, okay, okay, that's called lucky. I'll, I'll, I'll take my misses in. <laughs> I'll trade my misses for them missing me. That's fine, that's fine. I, I'm grateful it's calm now. Let's... Ah... Uh. Guys, Overwatch, which is a, a pain in my in my butt. I see. I don't even have a scout <laughs> to break these Overwatches, because the first abduction happened so early. Oh. Okay, it's fine. I had to move him anyway, so it wasn't like... It wasn't like that was, you know... Oh, okay. Yay! One damage! Um... Won't get around him. Uh oh, okay, that's not good. That's very bad. Oh, you have to reload. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I, I don't even know what to say. You have to reload. Um, that's funny. And none of them are Overwatch anymore, so now I can actually try to make a play f moving forward. It's all freaking... Why is it all heavy cover here? Um, I need to get around to this door. Okay, you might not be completely useless. I could use you as a finisher, like just drop down onto. If I need another hit. Yeah, boy. I'll just get you more ammo. Uh, 
Okay, that's what's maybe back here. That was a waste of a move. Let's let them come to me. Let's try that strategy out. How's that for a change? Oh! Instant reward. And then my my soldier that is able to flank is almost ready. It's okay. I, I just wish there was another piece of cover like right there. Um. Okay. Well, I'm, it's not exactly flanking yet, still, but starting to get into position to do nothing. That bunny hop over here. Still not very helpful. Maybe I should just be dashing so I can move, cover more ground. Yeah, I think I'll just start dashing so I can cover more ground. Uh, I, I just need to get into a position where I, I can completely surround them. You, my friend, need to move back into some cover. Okay. This is fine. Dodge it. Ah! Okay, no. Great. Good, good, good. The end is not. The end is coming for these guys. Stay calm. No, oh, so much for that. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's. Fine. Oh, this guy. This guy though, he should be dead. Heading to that location. He is completely out of position. There we go. One down. See if I can make it two. Awesome. It's time to knock these dominoes down. Uh. He's still a little troublesome. Oh, okay, 71%. Come on. Two. Not bad. Mr. Finisher, are you able to finish him for me? Well, what's your chance to hit? I know you're Red Fog, but he only has one HP. Uh. Fine! <sighs> Play it safely. No point losing him if I don't have to. Our goal is always zero casualties. This is Overwatch, you make sure you don't move. No, he's Overwatch, he doesn't want to move either. That's fine by me. I'll keep shooting though. You know, it's pot shots. I'll keep shooting until I hit. Let's I don't have to move. No, sir. I'm on it, Commander. 
Oh, here's a flank. There we go. Oh, that took a long while. Very long while, but we did it. 13 sectoids. Three injuries, but you know what? I'm fine. Complete it. Take an, take an assault. I guess we'll take one Rocketeer now. A Medic. And there are a Scout. And there are Engineer. And one Sniper. Okay. Perfect. And we got our first Scout. That sucks. Oh, well, no, those other ships will be ready in two hours. We have eyes on the bandit. Closing the target. Perfect. Okay. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, tomorrow's mission. I think I'm done for today. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And once again, we are taking um, volunteers for who wants to be any of these wonderful soldiers that you'll be in somewhat good hands as I throw you into crazy ass situations, such as Overwatch traps, because I think that was almost all, all of my deaths from the last campaign. But I only had five deaths, okay? So, five deaths total. That's not too bad. So you guys are in somewhat good hands, okay? But, yeah, so just leave your name, your phone name, your nickname, what class you want to be, and any customization options that you would like. And, you know what? Wel welcome in. We take everyone for our supposedly elite crew. And then finally, if you want to continue supporting this channel and, you know, keep receiving sp um, updates, about when these episodes are going to come out, feel free to click that subscribe button. So, thanks for watching, guys. X Round Bear signing out.